Hello everyone, and welcome to our third lesson, which is going to explain how to identify notes in music. There are 88 keys on a full-sized piano keyboard, and when playing music, we need to be able to recognise what's written down and which notes they're asking us to play. By the end of this video, you should be able to read the notes written down and relate that to which notes you're being required to play. If we take a look at the piano keyboard, we can see the black notes are grouped together in groups of three and two. This is repeated across the keyboard. Here are the groups of three, and here are the groups of two. See if you can find those on your own keyboard. We're now going to identify the note we call middle C. Working from the outside edges to the middle, middle C is the white note to the left of the two black notes highlighted here in blue. It's often in front of the name of the company that made your piano, which is just above your keyboard. Middle C is very important, as it tells us whereabouts on the keyboard other notes are placed. Here is middle C written down in the treble clef, and here's middle C written down in the bass clef. We've lots more to discuss about clefs and their uses, which will be detailed in a separate video. We're now going to look at how each note is written down, and by now you should know where to find middle C. The notes on your keyboard are given letters for names from A to G. When we get to a G, the notes start again with A and the pattern's repeated, so each note has a letter allocated to it. The black notes on the keyboard are the sharp and flats which will all be explained in a separate video. Here are all the C notes on your keyboard. And here are all your G notes on your keyboard. And here are all your E notes on your keyboard. Try to spend some time at your keyboard and try to learn the letter name for each of the keys shown here. Usually, notes above or higher than middle C appear in a treble clef shown here, and notes below middle C are usually shown in a bass clef, which is shown here. We're going to look at the white notes on a treble clef. Reading the notes upwards, the notes on the lines are E, G, B, D, F, and most people make up a rhyme to remind themselves of these notes. The notes in the gaps in the treble clef spell face, which is easy to remember. In the bass clef, here are the notes leading up to middle C. Most people remember the notes in the gaps and then work out the other notes from there. Notes on the keyboard go from low notes to the left up to the high notes on the right. Here is how they sound with the notes written on the stave the letters of the note is shown underneath, and also their place on the keyboard. So what have we learned from this video? Well, we now know where middle C is, we can recognise it on the keyboard and when it's written down on the staves. We know that all the notes have a letter name from A to G, and using middle C as a focal point, we can work out where all the other notes are located by counting up or down from middle C. 
Thanks for watching and do look out for future videos.